Welcome back, everybody. So here it is, my Venom movie review. Now, before I went, uh, before I watched this movie, I was really, really excited from the trailers that have been released, um, and I was just like, yeah, okay, this could be a good watch. Now, I will say this straight from the start. I really do not know the Venom universe that well. I've heard of Venom, but I don't know his villains, I don't really know his backstory, and all that. So I had to go into watching this movie as somebody that didn't know this and in this universe in any way, shape, or form, but to watch this movie to see if it was an entertaining movie. Now I did watch some very uh, I watched some non-spoiler reviews on this movie, and it's getting very, very mixed uh, reviews. I also understand that the hardcore fans of Venom and this universe probably wanted to see different bits in this movie. Um, I can't comment on that because obviously I don't know this universe. But I can honestly tell you, when I finished watching this movie, I was actually entertained. Yes, there are a few problems with this movie, um, which I'm going to get into in a moment. But honestly, when I finished watching it, I went, that's not bad, actually. I actually kind of enjoyed watching it. And the main thing that stuck out for me in this movie is uh, Tom Hardy uh, as Eddie Brock and Venom. Now, I know that uh, Tom Hardy apparently did the voice for Venom as well. And I just loved the to and fro, um, to and throw kind of comments between them. It was really, really funny. Some of it was really, really good. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I loved the voice of Venom, me personally, anyway. And I did enjoy watching Tom Hardy's performance in this. In other words, so seeing all of his different emotions, how he was dealing with Venom taking its body, and it was just really, really good. I, I enjoyed that aspect of this movie. I did enjoy some of the action sequences as well. There was a few bits towards the end I thought was a bit, uh, yeah, the, the special effects weren't that good, to be fair. But as a whole, I did enjoy watching um, Venom and Riot as well uh, fight it out towards the end. I did enjoy certain bits of that. Um, now, here's the things that I disliked about this. Is for a for somebody that doesn't know the universe or the Venom universe that well, it didn't really explain too deeply about Venom. They did touch on it in certain points, but I think they could have done a, just a tiny, tiny little bit more, for, especially for the people like me that don't really know this universe that well. Also, the bit this is the biggest problem with this movie is the script. No, it's the storyline. It's very, very predictable uh, for me personally. I had the film figured out but very quickly, let me put it like that. And in certain parts of this movie, it just didn't seem to be there at all. There are certain scenes, it's like, so I get it, but what's this, you know, what's this scene doing in here for? You mean you could have taken that scene out and probably made the bits with Venom a bit longer, or you could have done a bit more with Venom, and it just seemed like it was just non-existent in certain parts of this movie, and it, like I said, it was so predictable, and it wasn't, I don't know, I think you know what I'm trying to say, it's like one minute the storyline's there, and the next minute it's gone, and there's a scene which is like, yeah, okay, okay, that was a good scene, but how does this tie in with the rest of the movie? Also, at the beginning of this, there's a massive time jump, which would even, even, even isn't isn't even explained that you know for one minute there he breaks up with his girlfriend and the next minute they're suggesting that this is months and weeks later after that breakup but it does not really explain what happens in between that because i'm sure that, i know it's probably done that way but it just it was just one day there and then it's next was two months later that was just something that i picked up on um <laughs> It, like I said, for me, it's an entertaining movie, but I do understand why the bigger fans or the mega fans didn't like this movie as much. And trust me, I've seen a few of these movie reviews and a lot of people saying it's an awful film and all that. And let me put it like this for you. It's a damn sight better than the Predator movie, which I watched not so long ago. For me, personally, at the end of this movie, I did feel like I was entertained. Yes, I think they could have done a bit more with Venom. Also, with Venom, a lot of this was shot at night time. So, when it's dark, and Venom is quite dark, it was very hard to see what was going on in certain points of this movie. Um, 
which is another small bugbear, but generally I was entertained, and for somebody that doesn't know that universe, even I finished watching this movie, and I was like, okay, that was actually not that bad, so on that note, I would actually give this... Ah... <laughs> It's either a 5 or 6 out of 10. And the reason for that is because of the storyline. It just, like I said, it didn't seem to be there. And because I think they could have just done more with Venom as well. And just gave a bit more of a origin story. Not an origin story, but tell the story about him. Or what happens. It's, it's just bits that could be explained. For me, personally. That was my personal thoughts on this. So, like I said, I'm going to give this... I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because I did feel entertained from this. Um, so, on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. Did you enjoy this movie? Did you not enjoy this movie? Um, like I said, put it in the comments down below. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care and goodbye.